Good afternoon to everybody. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, our preaching today is online, so I would like to encourage to every one of us, if you are in your place, in your house, whatever you do, amen, give a chance to hear the preaching of the word of the Lord through this uh, video. So it's my privilege and honor again to minister the word of the Lord this afternoon while the pandemic is still ongoing around the world. I know the hands of God is going to protect us anywhere we go and the Lord, amen, is always covering us with his precious blood. So this afternoon, before I go through to the message of the Lord, amen, we don't have service in the church, amen, from Wednesday to Sunday, but still our preaching video that you will watch in your FB or in the YouTube, praise God. It's our burden to keep preaching the word of God, just to feed your soul, to encourage you through the word of the Lord. So this afternoon, amen, I would like to take this opportunity, if you have your Bible with you, praise God, in the book of uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 3, reading from verse 10 to 15. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. All right. So if you found it, say praise the Lord there. Amen. Hallelujah. Okay. So the Bible said, according to the grace of God, which is given unto me as a wise master builder, I have laid the foundation and another build it thereon. But let every man take heed how he build it thereupon. 11. For other foundation can no man lay that, than that is laid, which is Jesus Christ. Now, if any man build upon this foundation, Gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay, and stubble. Every man's work shall be made manifest, for the day shall declare it, because it shall be revealed by the fire, and the fire shall try every man's work of what sort it is. If any man's work abide which he had built thereupon, he shall receive a reward. If any man's work shall be burned, he shall suffer loss, but he himself shall, shall be saved, and yet so as by fire. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we come to you again, Lord, asking your blessing upon the preaching of your word this day. I pray, God, the double portion of your anointing, the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that in every line of this message, Lord, Make it the food of our heart, our soul, O oh God. Encourage us, strengthen our faith, Lord. And I pray, God, that envelop us continually by the power of your spirit and your precious blood. Father, I give back to you all the glory, thanksgiving, and honor. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Everybody say, Amen. Hallelujah. So this afternoon, I, I love to bring to you the message in the Lord in his title, be concerned about eternity today. Praise God. You know, in times like this, brethren, we need to make anxious. We need to make regard about eternity. We need to, to balance it. Because, you know, almost everybody, people in the world are... Uh, experience fear in their in their life that of course we, we need to take care of our life ourselves to be safe upon this uh, spreading of coronavirus amen we are so concerned about this amen hallelujah every day amen we are always amen uh, scared because maybe we are contaminated by this uh, a virus but I would like to tell you this afternoon that we are not only be concerned about our safety about this pandemic 
But we need to be concerned also in our life about eternity in our life. Amen. So in times like this, church, we need to make anxious. We need to make regard about eternity. Pag-ukulan natin ng pansin, mga kapatid, panahon tungkol sa mga bagay na pang walang hanggan. Amen. Because in our scripture, we read the believers can build one of two kinds of structure atop the foundation that all believers have. In our scripture text, because the Bible said in in 1 Corinthians 3.11, Jesus is our foundation. The Bible said, For other foundation can no man lay than that is laid, which is Jesus Christ. Wala nang ibang pundasyon na maaring ilagay maliban sa pundasyon na nailagay na. Walang iba kundi ang ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. Remember that our structure is not the foundation is made of gold. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, I, what I mean is, one of the structure is on that foundation is made of gold, made of silver, and precious stones. Amen. In our own dialect, ito po ay pundasyon na gawa po ng ginto, gawa po ng pilat, at mamahaling bato. But the other, on that foundation, what the Bible says, it also comprised of wood, comprised of hay and stubble. Amen. Ito po ay binubuo ng kahoy, amen, damo at dayami. So, both kinds of people, you know, attended the church or attend church. And both structures are fine in every local church. So, this structures will be tried by fire. And you know what will happen to wood? What will happen to hay and stubble when it is burned? It will burn up into nothing. But remember, in verse 15, the Bible said, If any man's work shall be burned, he shall suffer loss, but he himself shall be saved. And yet, so as by fire. It is actually saying in this verse that if we build using wood, amen, using hay or using the stubble, when the structure is tested by fire, we will find ourselves safe, but only safe as a man running out from the inside of a burning house. And we will barely make it out. So our structure will be gone. So meaning to say, building using wood, using hay, and it will use stubble, is interpreted as a living Christian life without regard to the will of God. Amen? It is living our lives after we are saved for ourselves. Living it up and nothing bothering to do any part for the kingdom of God. And we're thinking as long as we go to church, as long as we attended to church, amen, it is enough for us. Amen. You are not going to establish the foundation, amen, in your life and you just only using wood, using hay, and using stubble, amen, hallelujah, to building your foundation. You are not bothering to, to do any part of the kingdom of God. But all of us, Amen. Can do what we want with our time. Amen. But it is not those who sacrifice for the greater will of God. Who are laying up treasures in heaven. And are building out of gold. Building out of silver and precious stones. Because eternity is going to last a lot longer than time. If you remember church the parable of the talents in the Bible. If you know in the book of Matthew chapter 25, verse 24 to 27, the Bible said, Then he which had received the one talent came and said, Lord, I knew thee that thou art an hard man, reaping where thou hast not sown, 
and gathering where thou hast not strode. And I was afraid, what the Bible said, and went and hid thy talent in the earth. And lo, there thou hast that is thine. His Lord answered and said unto him, Thou wicked and slothful servant, thou knowest that I reap where I sowed not, and gathered where I have not strode. Thou oughtest therefore to have put my money to the exchangers, and then at my coming I should have received my own with usury or usury. Meaning, Christ keeps no servant to be idle. That's what the plan of God, the will of God that every believers, he don't want to be idle even in serving the Lord. They have to receive their all from Him and have nothing they can call their own but sin. Our receiving from Christ is in order to our working for Him, church. Because the manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man to put profit with all. Amen. The day of account comes at last. Remember that. That we must all be reckoned with us to what good we have got to our own souls. And we have done to others by the advantages that we have enjoyed this life. It is not meant that the improving of natural powers can entitle a man to divine grace. But it is the real Christian's liberty and privilege to be enjoyed as his Redeemer's servant in promoting his glory and the good of his people. The love of Christ constrained him to live and no longer to himself, but to him that died for him and rose again. So we have things to do in our life in serving the Lord. So it was not enough to be in the master's family only and following the Lord as you, will, as you have been baptized in his name. There is something that we need to execute in the kingdom of God. So it is not enough to be saved and to keep your salvation until Jesus come, church. God wants you to do to something with your salvation. Do not sit on your salvation and do nothing with it. Hallelujah. Because the Lord expecting us to do something. Amen. While we are waiting for the son returning of the Lord. Especially when the government declared us. That there's no church anymore. Amen. And it just allow only for person to gather. But hallelujah. That's not enough for us. You can find something. You can do something about our salvation. And we can accomplish something. Amen. For the glory of God. Even though we don't have a church fellowship. But we can do something inside our house. In our personal life. In our walk with God. Amen. Because all of us can selfishly forget about sacrificing time. And energy to work for God. Praise God. And sometimes... We, 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 we become complacent amen, in our life, church. I'm not saying that all of us will be preachers who have to sacrifice some careers for the ministry. But I'm saying that all of us have something that we can do for God during this crisis. We can do something more for the Lord during this crisis. Amen. It might be online group discipleship lesson. We can do that in our group. It, may, it might be online group prayer connection, church. We can do that in the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. To accomplish something in the Lord. Every leaders, we can establish your group chat for the spiritual benefits. Bible sharing. Word of encouragement. And it might be anything, church. But it is something for the glory of the Lord. And you know, we appreciate the prayer team of New Life. Who take time out for their weeks to a prayer connection. In every 4 o'clock in the morning. Thank you so much for that sacrifices. And let me close with, with one for, for this notes, church. Why? 
Because some people are forever struggling. Amen. And never get to the point of doing anything for God. Either time is wasting for their folks. Amen. And most of their struggles simply come. Amen. From not being concerned about eternity today. The enemy has these people sidetracked on the stupid little problem. That they're only one mole hills compared to God's will. Made into mountains. And God will even take care of all those things you struggle with. Amen. As you get concerned with his kingdom instead. And do what you can find for God. But I tell you, fear not. God will take care of everything. I challenge you this afternoon, church. Amen. Hallelujah. We need to consider this. We need to put concern about eternity in our life. Amen. We need to be anxious and regard our eternity. Jesus is coming very, very soon. Kaya pagkukulang natin ito ng matinding pansin at panahon tungkol sa mga bagay na pang walang hanggan. Hallelujah. Inuulit ko ang banal na kasulatan, mga kapatid, as we read our scripture, church, that foundation no one can lay that is laid, which is the Lord Jesus Christ. Everything we need today in the last days, we need the Lord. Amen. And there is a strong foundation that is already prepared for us. And if we come to Him, Amen, even the storms come in our life, even problems that comes in our life, as long we have the strong foundation and that foundation is already laid, hallelujah, upon our life. Church, we need to get on that kind of foundation, that foundation that has made with gold, made with silver and precious stones, hallelujah. Whatever trials that comes in our life, whatever flood of problems can struck in our life because we have a strong foundation that made of gold, that made of silver and precious stone. We will stand firm. We will stand durable. Hallelujah. During this time of crisis, during this kind time of pandemic church, and the other on foundation is comprised with wood. I don't like that kind of foundation. I don't want to waste my time on that kind of foundation, church. I want that foundation, that strong foundation, amen, that made with gold, silver, and precious stone, church. Hallelujah. And thank God for that opportunity, church, that the Lord give us the freedom even though we cannot go to church. But we have the freedom, hallelujah, amen, to find something, to do something for the Lord. Amen. Prayer, as I have said a while ago, amen, we will have to make our prayer connection. Uh, a Bible study online, amen, to everyone. Connect your group, connect your unit, amen, connect your brother, connect your sister in the Lord, hallelujah. And we will build a strong foundation. Amen. This is structure. Amen. I will tell you, it always tried by fire. But if your foundation is made with gold, made with silver, and precious stone, there's no such a chance to be burned. But still, it will be pure and durable. Amen. But our foundation, amen, hallelujah, is made with hay, made with wood and stubble. It will burn. It will burn up into nothing. To God be the glory. So we will barely make it out in our life. Our structure. Amen. Make it sure that in the middle of this situation, church. Amen. We are concerned about our eternity today. To God be the glory. Father, thank you so much for this short message that I that I share to you, to do to your people, O oh Lord. Continue bless us, O oh Lord, that let your people put a time and be concerned about eternity in our life. It will not be focused on things what happening around the world, but we will focus, Lord, our attention, our heart, our mind, O oh Lord, about eternity. God, because we know that everything in this world will be banished. 
Everything in this world will be burned. But those things, Lord, hallelujah, that we spend our time in serving the Lord, in serving you, Lord God, it will not vanish away. Because God is going to keep it all, oh God, hallelujah. Jesus, thank you so much. I will give to you all the glory, thanksgiving, and honor. Hallelujah. Continue to protect your people. Continue to encourage us, Lord. Hallelujah. Upon our life, upon our family. Even though we are in this foreign country, oh Lord, your hands, Lord, is not shortened to reach us our life. But we believe your hands is so powerful to protect us, to cover us, Lord. Whatever situation that we are facing, Lord, we believe in you, Lord. We believe in your promises. Father, thank you so much. And we bring back to you all the glory, thanksgiving, and honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus. So, God bless. And may the Lord bless us all in Jesus' name.